Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm gonna cover how hackers are taking advantage of AI and ChatGPT to carry out cyber attacks and make millions of dollars. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Cyber criminals are taking advantage of ChatGPT's popularity to distribute malware and carry out cyber attacks, which researchers have found. Since the moment it launched, ChatGPT has raised concerns among cybersecurity experts about its potential to aid criminals in writing malicious code. But according to a report published this week by threat intelligence company Cybel, bad actors are also setting up phishing websites mimicking the AI's tool branding. Researchers at Cybel have found several cases where hackers created fake websites with ChatGPT's icon That's weird. and name to spread various types of Android malware and steal credit card information. These websites were promoted through an unofficial ChatGPT social media page with over 3,500 followers. Social media posts redirects users to the ChatGPT phishing page. When the users clicked the download for Windows or try ChatGPT buttons on a phishing website, a malicious file with Steeler malware was automatically downloaded to their devices. No way. Once the malware was executed, it could collect sensitive data without the victim's knowledge. Researchers found that these phishing sites distributed several notorious malware families, including the Luma Stealer, Aurora Stealer, and Clipper malware designed to target cryptocurrency transactions. A fake OpenAI and ChatGPT website is essentially what it is. In addition to hosting information stealers and other malware, hackers also used ChatGPT and OpenAI based phishing websites to commit financial fraud. One common tactic has involved creating fake ChatGPT related payment pages that were designed to steal victims money and credit card information. Researchers have also identified over 50 fake and malicious apps that use the ChatGPT icon to spread adware and spyware or commit telecom fraud whereby scammers attempted to steal money by placing fraudulent charges on a victim's phone bill. <laughs> the spyware was posing as ChatGPT. Users who fall victim to these malicious campaigns could suffer financial losses or even compromise their personal information, causing significant harm, Cybul said. When asked by the record, ChatGPT generated a response that it's aware of fake ChatGPT apps spreading malware and recommends users only download apps from trusted sources, such as the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. If a user suspects that they have been that they have downloaded a fake ChatGPT app or any other app that may contain uh, malware, they should immediately uninstall the app and run a virus scan on their device. They should also change any passwords that may have been compromised as a result of malware. The AI program said, "The program is also aware of how it could be exploited by hackers." When asked, uh, ChatGPT generated a response saying that threat actors could use its capabilities for phishing and social engineering attacks or to create text that contains malicious code. So that is that story. And, and what's interesting to me is the fact that this can happen, the part where it said this can happen without the victim's knowledge. That was the most interesting part for me. So what, what was the most interesting part for you? What do you make of this story? What's your perspective? I want to know. Please let me know in the comment section. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.